Hello guys, what's up? I hope you are keeping good, you are well, and welcome again to Esiwakago YouTube channel. This is where we inspire, we encourage, and we also inform you about one thing or two that you do not know of. So, mostly we talk about America, although we are not limited to the rest of the world. If at all we have evidence of whatever we, we want to talk about, we still gonna inform you about it so today i'm here because there is a video i did um it's like one month ago or two and i spoke about jobs that you can do in america that they they, they pay well and you do not have to go back to school and people um on the comment section kept on asking me other than this and that what other job can you do I'm going to highlight two or three more and uh, just to touch um, to touch a little bit of what I spoke about was uh, if you know how to braid hair here in America, you will make good money, good pesa. And the other thing that I'm going to add on that is um, most people think braiding is for men. I mean, for women, for ladies. No, anyone can do it. And as long as you know how to do it, you will make a lot of cash. And I also mentioned that most of the people who do braiding, they don't even have uh, appointments open for you. You have to book in advance, like in advance. If you don't, they won't, they are all booked up. So some of these courses, you just have to go, um, to someone and they can teach you like braiding hair or taking care of hair and nowadays we have colleges that do that and this is the other most important thing all it is a very good job that can pay you very well but it might be adorated because you do not know it can pay yeah most people think uh for you to be able to cook for people you have to have that a uh, restaurant no when it comes to America, especially with immigrants, there are those type of food that not everybody knows how to prepare them. And talking of types of food, to start with, chapati. Not everybody can cook chapati. Some people can cook chapati, but time cannot allow them. Because you know, sometimes you have too much. You are held up so much until you cannot find at a good time to prepare those type of food that take a lot of time. Another thing, the madazi, chapati, madazi, samosa, those are some of the things that you can just cook for people and they'll be ordering on the phone. And you won't even have to leave your house. No, you will be cooking from your kitchen i almost said chicken you'll be cooking from your kitchen and then they're gonna be ordering uh through the phone and they will be picking up and one chapo sometimes goes for two dollars sometimes goes for a dollar and fifty it all depends with your state and how much that person is willing to sell for if i buy chapati from the Indians, because they are Indians and asians who cook exactly the same chapati that we do one chapati goes for three dollars no bargaining three dollars don't ask me if that is together with stew no it is just chapati but it's three dollars period so those are some of the things you can cook for people and i assure you they're gonna give you a lot of cash cooking cooking in america it's gonna give you a lot of money and you know what and within the few months you will be able to cook for people and people will be will pay you i know of a a, a show show a certain show show she came to visit and then um she cooked chapatis for people and my friend she used to cook a lot a lot of food and like i'm telling you sometimes when you get to america you get overwhelmed by staff until you cannot be able to do everything that you are required to do so sometimes 
ordering chapati for $20 or $30 from someone and you won't have to come in from an, an 8 hour shift or 16 hour shift and then you get home and start cooking it saves you a lot that is for ladies and men by the way i don't even know why i said for ladies excuse me because i know of a of a gentleman he he is between us uh, 55 years to 65 he i think he went back to kenya the only job he did in america was cooking cooking just cooking chapati samosa and what madazi that is all he did and at some point he felt like he need to go back home because he has garnered enough cash so never underestimate some of these jobs they pay a lot and you 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 are like a self-employed person and you're working from home you don't even get to deliver them sometimes you might but most of the time people come to pick up from your address so another thing and here in america we don't we don't even have we don't classify jobs this is for ladies this is for men the other thing um, i might tell you about is um you see when it's snowing <clears throat> there are people who cannot uh, get out there to shovel their driveways that is another venture and it doesn't require you to go to no school zero school and another thing is when it's summertime all it's um yeah fall fall time fall time all the trees will shed the leaves so there are people who clean up the the, the lawns so that they, they they stay clean so on the grass they have to fagia to clean up the the the, the whatever the, the 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 leaves so that's another good paying job it doesn't require you to go to school because remember we used to do that those are the type of jobs you used to do home but when you come here in america you might think everything is now to be operated by machine i don't know what you can use machines if you want to clean up and stuff but that is upon you whatever you want to use if you use your hands if you use a machine that is upon you so in america you don't have to be hired by anybody you can hire your own self you can hire your own self and there are people who used to ask me if they can do daycare jobs i would assure you for you to do a daycare job the best way to do it is to get a license because of because i won't go into details about that until you come here you won't understand what i i, I might explain about it so um what is the other type of job that uh, people can do uh, other than cooking but cooking you know what people eat every day so there ain't any single day people will stop eating so that's a good job man even people who do cooking here in america like in the restaurant the people who operate restaurants man whenever i go there when i'm doing delivery whenever i go to the restaurants sometimes over the weekend you cannot even find a space they are fully fully booked until some people have to just stand somewhere and wait for the first lot to clear the tables so that they can come in and sit that is how busy um it is uh in those uh eatery are they called eatery whatever yeah so cooking is a good thing and the other thing is clean, clean cleaning the driveways and also uh cleaning the the lawns and what else yeah those are the type of uh few underrated and you don't have to have zero zero certificate on those zero certificate for you to to know how to cook chapati you don't have to have a license man chanuka yadwa guy this is just about you having the skills and then selling yourself out there the more good chapati you cook the more they gonna buy from you on the same note there are people who know how to make very good and tasty food sometimes especially in our churches kenyan churches after church we have to have um we have to have um um a fellowship a tea fellowship where we sit down eat samosa eat mandazi all these are made by church members and if you can be there and they know you can prepare them they will be ordering from you and they take to their church because sometimes we have a uh, um 
a list of people at uh, on this Saturday there are this group of people who are supposed to provide and in some other churches they hire caterers like they hire people to do it for the church and then they bring the madazi and the chai and then you just sit down and eat so guys this is a very big business very big business and it doesn't require you to have a single license maybe if you want to be to become more professional on the american food maybe you can go back to school and get um trained on that but even if you go to back to school here in america they will never show you how to cook chapati they will never show you how to cook mokimo never show you how to cook samosa they don't even know what those are so come with your skills if you are, you are a green card uh, holder and hata kama unakuja kutebea ni vizuri ukuje kama umejihami mudumoge ni muge mudumoge ndari mehere ohoro so that is all i wanted to say for today and see you guys when you see me on the next video keep on sharing keep on subscribing keep on commenting and asking me for more videos that you would want to see me do i try as much as i can to do them yeah so guys have a good time and do not forget to keep on keeping on because that is our motto here at eswakago youtube channel and we can do all things through christ who strengthens us hallelujah